Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods Die. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So, last episode, we got this all set up to make ether gas. And I finished sorting out the machine in between episodes. And now we've got ether gas. And we needed this to make some stuff from Industrial 4 going. However, also in between episodes, I have updated the pack to the latest version, so there have been some changes. Uh, first of all, let's start here. So we no longer need the Infinity Nuke, which was part of the ATM Star, which is fine because we didn't make it. So all we need now from Industrial 4 going is the Wither Builder, which is easy. Um, it's the Supreme Machine Frame, which requires the Ether Gas, which we have set up automatically and I think we can just go ahead and do that now. Also in the update were some extra quests. So we've now got Apotheosis gear, which I went through and just made most of it. I haven't really used any of it, but um, yeah. And there might be some other things here, but Apotheosis Enchanting is here. So I did that. And now there's a Cataclysm one as well. So yeah, just a few things really. Um, I think that's it. I haven't done anything else in between episodes. Just sat around really waiting for this to work. So that should create the Supreme Machine Frame. Which it has, and then all we need to make is a wither builder. Which I thought I had automated. Did I not just put that in here? No. Then what did I? I made a nether star my seal oil generator. Apparently. Um not what I meant to make. With a builder. There we go. And there we go. All done. All fully automated. And now we have a way of automatically building with us. Not that we really need to. And not very helpful, to be fair. So we've got the with a builder. And I think we've got Heart of the Deep. Yeah, we've got those automated. So that is Industrial 4 going pretty much done. However, I think Industrial 4 going will also help us with this Obsidian one. So if we make some material stonework factories... No, that's not what I was looking for. Where are we? Stonework generation. There we go. So it consumes the lava. So we'd need to get infinite lava. And it doesn't consume water. And then we could use the material stonework factory to infinitely create us some obsidian. Which is probably something we will look into. Or we can use a blast chiller, which just takes power. That's probably slower. But yeah. We'll, we will have a look at that at some point in the future. To start off with today's episode, what we need to get is an elytra. And we don't actually have one because we didn't really need one. But I've been flying around the end looking for one of these. And hopefully there will be one. There we go, elytra. That is what we need. I don't think we need anything else. Ooh, some more artifacts. That's cool. Um, dragon scale? I don't know. Maybe. And, right. So, that we have. And, you know what? Let's go have a look at this cataclysm dungeon while we're here. Shall we? With our new gear, we might actually be able to kill the bosses in here. There are two bosses in here. There's a there's a guardian to the second boss. And stone brick stairs. Did not mean to t turn that on. 
Where are you? And I think those are pretty cool. You step over the runes on the floor. Well, that one's already just activated, but look, there's loads. They're pretty cool. There's one that. Obsidian Skull. I don't really think we need any of the loot out of this. Uh, where are you? There you are. Let's see if we can do this, shall we? So this guy's pretty much the guardian to the entrance to the dungeon. That worked out pretty well. Now we've got Void Core. So all we need to do now is go down here. Through this one, and here is the, s the main boss. There we go. Easy enough. And I think, yeah, that gave us a gauntlet of guard and a void core. Which is part of the stuff we need for these things. Which is part of the... Ooh, an ender golem. Kill an ender golem. Yeah, which is part of the stuff we need for the star, which comes from this void forge quest thing. So we'll just throw all of these in, in here. And we'll go back to base. There are many more bosses in Cataclysm mod, but I just thought we'd do that while we was there. So what we're trying to make is the Angel Ring. And you need Elytra for the Diamond Ring. And then you need all of this. It's not too hard. We've got pretty much all of this automated. There's the Angel Ring. So this one drains XP, but if we upgrade it to Energetic, it'll use power instead. There we go. And it's already charged up. So if we take off our jetpack, um, where does it go? What is it? It's a ring. What ring don't we want? Poison's good. Let's get rid of. Actually, there's another ring slot there. Why do you not want to go in? Do you go somewhere else? Angel ring. There we go. It's not as fast as the jetpack. Very creative. Creative flight and yeah. <clears throat> no more jetpack noises when you're flying. So we'll, we will keep our jetpack, but we'll uh, we'll just leave it for when we need to uh, travel around really fast because this this will do us nicely. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is get the sort out the railgun for the ATM star, which is this bit, and Master of the Sky, because we haven't done any immersive engineering yet, and um, I thought it was a good thing to start with. We can get rid of this quest line. So we've done this one, done that one, most of the way through some others. We just keep hitting them off, and uh, I fancied let's do some uh, immersive engineering first. Today. And we'll just do as usual and we'll just follow the quest line because it teaches you pretty much how to do it and yeah so uh let's go let's go this way first so creosote oil we need a coke oven which is not that one we want this one and we're gonna have to make or these aren't we right so um, yeah let's put this in here oops forget we're not using a jetpack anymore and how many do we need uh, 9 18 27 25 and this so Let's just set this up here. It's just a three by three by three. 
and then you hit it with your hammer, usually. Do we need it hollow? Yep, it needs to stay hollow. So just get rid of the center block, and there we go. You don't have to hit it with your hammer, and that is creosote. Uh, to make creosote, we need coal. I think we just put coal in there, and then that'll burn, make coal coke. Yeah, we can also use blocks of coal, which might be a better idea. You know what? Let's put coal in this one. There we go. We'll have a thousand coal every time. But uh, coal essence is also useful for other things, so that's why I'm not going to do the max one. Um, like I have done with the diamonds and the nether stars. There we go. Let's just swap this out. Uh, creosote there. And all we need now is a bucket. There we go. Bucket of creosote. Oh, apparently that didn't count. It's given us railcraft. We've got a railcraft thing here. I may have built the wrong one. Yeah, I built the wrong one. <laughs> oh well. Um, maybe that'll come in handy at some point. So let's make this. Ooh, sandstone. Let's make this with sand. There we go. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that. Shift right click, delete it, and put it back in the system. Oh, apparently not. What's going on here? Oh, go away. That's annoying. Um, right, let's try that again. That'll be why I didn't have to hit it with the hammer, because it was the wrong block. Uh, what did we say? Oh, we'll just make. Right, we're missing sandstone. Because we didn't teach it how to make sandstone. There we go, that's that's better. Let's get rid of this, we don't need that. I don't think this needs to be hollow. No, nope, there we go, that's the right one. And it's deleted our stacks of coal. That's annoying. Try this again. There we go. Yeah, and that will make us some career, so slowly. Right, while well, that is doing its thing, there is a book. We've still got toast, that's good. So that's that. Let's have a look at all of these. So what I'm going to do is I'll put all of these into the system. Assuming they're easy enough to make. Iron plates. Is this gonna... Can we actually automate this? That's what I wanna know. Or is it gonna ask for... Yeah, it's gonna ask for 63 engineers hammer. If we take this out and don't make it exact. Will it work then? No. Um, so you can automate this in a different way, which is through... I mean, you got the multi-servo press there from uh, thermal expansion, or you could do it with the metal press from immersive engineering, but we need some of these blocks. So what I will do is... Got engineer's hammer, and I'll just craft some of these manually. Um, iron ingots, there we go. What's iron plates we wanted yet? 
Uh, there we go. Right, we've got some iron plates. Let's get rid of that pattern. Get rid of that pattern. Um, however, we will we will put these in here because eventually we will have them automated. So that is the light block. We need to do the same with steel. The heavy block. Steel scaffolding, which is steel rods as well, which we'll do with that. Fence. So an engineering block uses the iron sheet metal, which we've already got, and a fluid pipe. Right, there we go. So yeah, we just need to automate those two plates, so the steel plate. So let's make up another couple of hammers. Get some steel. Um... We'll do is we'll put we'll put that on a thousand as well. Have you made anything yet? Nope, you're still cooking. That's fine. There we go. Steel ingots and steel plates. And now we can craft all of the immersive stuff. Hopefully, what did the quest want? Just one of everything. Doesn't say. Let's make a light. Let's make some stuff, shall we? Light engineering block. Heavy engineering block. Some fluid pipes. Uh, what else? Redstone. Steel fences, steel scaffolding. I think that was everything. There we go. Yep, that was everything. I'm coming reward. Iron sight. We don't really need that. What's the next thing? Making a fermenter. It doesn't tell you how to make it, right? So then you go to your book and it'll tell you heavy machines, fermenter, and tell you how to build it. Hopefully it should tell you. Nope, it doesn't. Oh, there we go. Tells you what you need. Four iron sheet metal and four cauldrons. Cauldrons is just some iron somewhere, I think. Yep. There we go. That should be everything. And it should be ticked off. Right, so let's see if I can remember how to make these. Well, like I usually do, we will move this eventually to a proper spot. Um, but we'll figure that out later. Four cauldrons. Another light engineering block here. Redstone engineering block there. What else was on that corner? Got the cauldrons. Oh, that's it. Okay. And then there we go. Oh, that and that. And I don't know which way this is going to face. I've done something wrong here. Why do you not want to work? <clears throat> It's like it's because the pipes have connected. 
and it doesn't seem to like it. There we go. Okay, that was weird. Pipes connected and it didn't like it. Um, I think we can probably use gates on this as well, can't we? Can we? Hope we can. No. We got to use something else. Okay. That is the fermenter, though. Um, now we got fruit salad. Make sure we eat that. Oh, we've eaten this before. That's sad. So we do need power. We need IF, which could be interesting to figure out. Transferring towards it. Have we got any creosote yet? No. If we didn't use blocks, it would be quicker, but blocks will give us more buckets because we're probably going to need some more. Um, that's the way to the engineer's workbench. What we need to figure out is transfer Burring power. Which I'm going to have a quick look at and I'll come back after. Okay, and we're back. And this has finished its making its creosote. So we'll start there. Oops. We need a bucket, not creosote bucket from there. And there we go. Bucket of creosote. That is that one sorted. Or universal pipes. And I figured this out. It just you just gotta put it on the right slot. So none of these are power. Um power is actually up here. That's the power. And we need to make ethanol from this, so what we do is we'll just take some sugar cane and throw it in there, and it'll make us some ethanol. But we need to make next is the refinery, so we can make and some silver plates. Uh, so the refinery, I've got everything we need. We just need to make this. Uh, two, then a light engineering block, and then two. Stop. Why does this not seem to work? Um, pipes in the middle, light engineering block both sides. Wait, that was a light engineering block, wasn't it? There's no heavies in this. No, two heavy engineering blocks as well. So that one's a heavy engineering block. Two lights on the back. Okay. So those are the lights. Those are the heavies. Fluid pipes through here. Um... I'm not sure if this makes a difference, but what we'll do is we'll just, we will get rid of these like that. Just so we don't run into the same issue. Um, and the redstone there and the sheet metal. And hit it. There we go. Another one done. What does the refinery want? We want some silver plates, apparently. Silver. There we go, silver plates. Uh, this bullet block will be used to convert the ethanol into whatever the heck that says. <laughs> Using silver plates. To pump liquids out of this machine, use a fluid pipe out of the front. Okay, so that's going to go into here. That's an input. Which one's an input? We want one of these to be an input. Do you hit it with a hammer? No. So where do you... Where do you take your inputs? Where do you take your power? Right, that is power. So let's get a gate for that. And that looks like the right place. So if we use fluid pipes, 
Did we not put pipes in here? We did. I'm just blind. I'm probably blind. That is not an output? Why are you not outputting? Okay. That's where you want to output to, that's fine. Makes no difference to me. Right, there's the ethanol. And then what? What do you want with this ethanol? You want the silver plates. Ethanol, silver plate makes that. Have I turned this off? Well, there we go. Acet, acetaldehyde, acetaldehyde. I have no idea what that says. You need to build another refinery to further refine it. This is a refinery here, yeah, so we need another one of these to refine it some more. So then we need this, so uh, whatever it is to make. We're, we're trying to make this phenolic resin. So we need the creosote and the and that. The creosote. Is there an easier way of making this? No. No, there is not. You have to use a coke oven. Can we actually do anything with this coke brick? We can burn it. No, we am pretty much. <laughs> it's pretty pointless. Okay, so, right, we're going to need a good stash of that, uh, and we're going to have to set these up. Right, I'm going to probably turn that machine around next time we do this, possibly. Maybe? Yeah, we'll turn it around. It can input from the other side instead. And then we'll just have it in that line. So, we need... We'll probably just put them up there. We'll put that there, then that, turned around, and then two of those. Um, I'm going to do that now, because why not? I think after the refinery, we'll probably have some space. If not, we'll just put it in a tank and pipe it somewhere else. Um, so yeah, I'll get that set up, because this is a bit of a mess. And we'll be back in a second. And there we go. I have moved our setup and got it all automated. There's pipes coming in with sugar cane for the fermenter. The silver plate in here, we don't need to automate those because it's just a catalyst, so it doesn't get used up. It just helps make this stuff. So that doesn't need importing or automating. And this, this is just waiting for creosote, which takes a while. I might maybe end up putting another one in just behind there. And then next we need to make a bottling machine. So this is the bottling machine. Come on. There we go, this is what we need to see. Um, I have no idea which way round this goes, to be honest. So let's just build it and find out. One, two, three. I'm probably doing this the wrong way around, but it's fine. God damn it. <laughs> Go that way. There we go. Uh, what else was there? Fluid pump, light engineering block, and a sheet block. Fluid pump. And there. I think I've already done this wrong. Yeah, I've done this wrong. Very wrong. All right, light engineering box, uh, there, here we go. Now it'll work. Oh, 
Hopefully. There we go. That looks reasonable. It doesn't seem to have an interface, which is interesting. So if we place this down here, it's going to do that, but we can do that. That should pipe it in, possibly. There's the resin. There isn't an interface on this, which is odd. I don't like it. Where's where's the power? Power's there. So gate, gate power. So that's powered now. I think. Not that I can tell. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's that bit done. And the next bit, what we need is the the metal press plate, which we make in an engineer's workbench. So we need to make that, which is this line. Uh, so to do that, we needed the creosote bottles because we need to make treated wood stuff, which is this. So if we make just eight of those for now, hopefully that's enough. We need some slabs, which is that. Maybe it's not going to be enough. And then we need, no, we definitely need at least one more set of planks. And then whatever that's going to take to make. So that's those. What do you need? You need some more sticks. Is that enough? Crafting bench. Now it's enough, surely. Why? I, damn it. <laughs> what is going on? That's a massive, like, lag spike. Uh, everything's being weird. Like it's reloaded the entire quest log. And the game's crashed. I think. No? Yes? Uh I'll be back in a second. Let's see what's going on. Alright, don't know what happened there, but restarting the game seems to have helped. And there we go. We've got a crafted workbench. I'm not 100 percent certain where I want to place this yet. Um I feel like somewhere nearby would be a good idea, but I don't really know. Maybe we can have this as a little engineering area over here. Um, okay, so what did we need to do? We need the mold. How do we make mold? Steel plate wire cores. Okay. Steel plates. Wire cutters. There we go. In you go, in you go. And we want the mold plate. Now how does this place on here? I have absolutely no idea. Using your engineer's workbench to make the plate and throw it onto the conveyor belts. What? I don't like that. That is terrible. <laughs> that is the worst thing I've ever seen. Do hoppers work on this thing? Two hoppers, right? You can go backwards and you can go there. Right, so hoppers do work. Assuming you don't have your um 
magnet on when you're nearby. Uh, that should work. Uh, if there was any liquid in this, which there isn't, so we use it all. But that did get that duroplast, which is good. So we just have to set up a little, a little thing that just takes it back around. Anyway, that is the duroplast. Uh, next, we need some coke dust. Have we actually got to make a crusher just for this? We can't macerate it. Oh my god. I mean, I suppose it could go there. Um, yeah, all right. Let's. right. I'm going to have a look at automating this thing. Hopefully it's easy enough. And we'll be back in a second. And I'll... Uh, I'll set up the mace, the crusher, whatever it is, heavy machine, crusher. I'll get all the blocks for this. It's a little bit bigger than the other ones. No, this is fine. Yeah, I'll set this up as well, because apparently we're going to need it. Be right back, and we're back, and I have automated both machines and built them. Uh, just follow the book for the crusher, it's pretty simple. Um... So to automate this, hopper on the chest on there, and then through here we've got some universal pipe with a filter on, just for the metal press. That way the metal presses will go back here and the duroplast will stay here. And then all we need to do is put an import bus on this. And that's that automated. Um, I had some trouble with liquids going into the wrong places, so I had to move the machine over a bit, which, yeah, it's fine. Um, I sorted it. Probably put that there. Just leave it there like that. Yeah, and then... So it outputs there, inputs at the top. You can put a hopper on it, and all we've got to do is throw it in. There we go, coke dust. Which is what we needed for something. I'm completely lost where it was. Oh, we got a parrot egg. And there's an enderman in my base. He didn't die. Well, that's annoying. Yeah, you you can fly around, Mr. Parrot. Uh Dark oak. I'm just going to fix that hole that I just saw in the roof. Before the pirate flies out there. Yeah, so that is the coke dust. Uh, apparently now we need a squeezer to make this, which we can which we can grow. Hop graphite, which you need to squeeze. Yeah, you need a squeezer to make some graphite. That enderman's going to annoy me now. We're going to grow the stupid graphite because we've run out of space here. Um, looks pretty cool, though. Also, it's a function. So, uh, we'll put an importer on here. And we'll filter it. Uh, get some cable. That enderman's annoying me. Oh, well, I mean, that didn't last long, did it? Do you mind? Where are you? I did not intentionally kill the parrot. But he was definitely getting in the way there. Duroplast, there we go, Duroplast, import. Why is that not working? Did I not connect this up properly? Yeah, it's connected up to me. Do you not like importing from the side of the chest? 
the system still working? Are you set to some weird mode? No, importer, Europlast, whitelist, there we go. Coke dust, right, we need to start our squeezer for the coke dust, don't we? Um, we'll only temporarily set up the squeezer until we've got enough for the seeds, because we don't need that many seeds. Redstone ass. oh, thank god, that's easy to craft. Uh, yeah, we don't really need much for the seeds, we'll just set the seeds up, we only need one, so, um, yeah, we just need, we've got enough already, just need to set up the squeezer, pretty much. Um, here we go, squeezer, light engineering, redstone engineering, piston, okay. And we're back, so um, I made a second one because we need creosote oil. Oh, creosote oil? Creosote, we need creosote for some stuff for the rail gun. We also need it for the, I think for the bits for the squeezer. Yeah, wooden barrel. So we need to make some wooden marrows from immersive, which are these right here, which require the treated wood. So let's make some treated wood now. So we need some more of those. So we're gonna need two sets of those. Oops, I made way too many. Oh, we've got two wooden barrels. Um, thanks, there we go. Need that again. There we go. But yeah, I thought it was a good idea to automate having some creosote so we can make these treated wood planks because we're going to need treated wood sticks here for the railgun and some more wood planks here. So yeah, we are going to need it. So let's build the squeezer. Pause that, start off with that. So, like I said, we're not going to keep it built because we don't need it. We're going to automate them with the flowers, which is a better idea, in my opinion. I'll, every time I look at this, I forget as soon as I close the book. Light engineering block and that. Here we go. So wooden barrels here, light engineering block, redstone block, where's the piston go? Piston goes face down there. These do not help me. Right, we'll just do it the old fashioned way. Oh, back her off. What are you doing to me? I swear to God. <laughs> all right, and then there was. Fences and sort out these things first. I'll put the piston too low. There we go. Stupid piston. Oh, we're clicking. There we go. That's what we're clicking. Right, let's get a gate. Um, figure out where you want your power from. There we go. And then we'll just throw it in. And nothing happens. Cool. Oh, there we go. Hop graphite dust. That was quick. Uh, throw this in here. And we should get the hop graphite bars. Oh, thank God. 
I need another Imperium Essence thing. There we go, and the seed. Oh, let's just do it this way. And there we go, we've got everything we need to make the seed. That gets rid of the hop graphite stuff, so we don't really need the... What was that? We don't really need the crusher anymore either. Because we only needed the crusher to make the hop graphite. Um, but we'll leave it anyway. Doesn't really matter. Ooh, that got... That was too fast for me to click. There we go. It's taking some getting used to not ha not using my jetpack buttons. There we go, that's that done. So there we have the hop graphite. And you give us lapis. Cheers. So now we can make the HV. So we'll throw all this in here. Ooh, actually, before we do anything, let's sort this out. Before I forget. So I turned this off so I could get the creosote, but now we're using this one for our creosote. I can turn this back on. There we go. They are insanely slow, but it's fine because we're not going to need loads of them. Get rid of that. Rail gun, HV. We just need to make that bucket of red stuff. There's the HV. And we should be able to make rail gun in a minute. Uh, we're missing some stuff. What we're we missing? Maybe if we just do the oh, we're missing like everything. Um, we can make these electron coils pretty easily. I stuck them in the system. We need two. I don't know why I made one. I basically just put electron plates in there and made um, some electron wires, so it's not automated. But like I said, we literally need a railgun. At the moment, we need this. That's all of the. Um, we need copper nugget. Some really weird things in here, isn't there? Right now, we've got everything except this, which needs some stuff. Need a nickel plate. There's the nickel plate. Oh, we need. Oh, we know that was enough. Um, what else do we need? Duroplast and aluminium wire. Aluminium plate. Duro. Plus sheet. Was that? Was that it? Oh, okay. We need copper wire, some glass, and redstone. Not that. Copper plate, copper wire, glass and redstone. Glass. Redstone. There we go. That should be everything except we need the other blueprint, which was the crafting components. So first we need a these, I think. Mm. Vacuum tube. Nickel plate. There we go. Our advanced electronic component. Where's our rail gun? I, wow, all done, awesome, oh, a golden hook, that's that done, we've got a rail gun, we can use it on that, you still need to do the gravitational modulating unit for our mechanism, which is basically flying, we've got the player transmitter, we do need to get into some flying energistics, I think that's reasonably good enough, easy enough to do, we just need to sort out 
forest flower. Can now be added to a flower pot. Yeah. Chorus. We could grow the chorus fruits. So we get the flowers and the fruits. Do we have any chorus? We do have chorus fruits. So we can just stick them in a botany pot. Because I think we've got some going. Do these all have... Yeah, these have all got... Well, that'll grow. Right, that's that one sorted. Don't even need to think about that again. This is experience dropped by creatures. Uh, where do I? You can go in there. So that is immersive engineering complete, I think, for what we need anyway. Um, so, yeah, we've done the play transmitter. We've done the rail gun. We need to get into that. Mechanical arms, we'll sort out when we do the create bit down here. Uh, we still need to sort out this, which I mean I need to make the seeds for. And we need the awakening altar, which isn't too bad. So maybe we should make this. Um, I still need to make the seeds, because I didn't do that. We still have everything, I hope. We just need one of those. Right. Yeah. Let's make the seeds. Let's do the infusion crafting. And then... We'll have another look. So that is that one done. Let's... We need three of these because they're all... Yeah. They're all seeds. Um, what else was it? Let's just stick that on there. Steel leaf, carmenite, and fiery. All right, steel leaf. We get that from these, which we can grow like this. All right, that's cool. We got that. Steel leaf done. Carmenite block. We've got carmenite. We can forget about that. Fiery ingots. We can grow them. We don't have any fiery ingots at the minute. There we go. Fire ingots. What else do we need? Some Imperium. And we're getting Carmenite, so we can forget about Carmenite because we already get the blocks. Uh, and then we need sort of Snow Queen Trophy. It's also part of the Dragon Soul. So let's go make these seeds. We should. What we should do is get into some. Um, Oh, I forgot what they're called. Uh, so the teleport things, so we can teleport around easier. I don't have that much pink slime. But I do not care. What I should also have to do is get something to kill slimes. And then the steel leaf, and that's everything sorted. Oh, look at that, we got a slime spawn egg. Ooh, you're not growing. Why are you not growing? Oh, you are growing very slowly. Come on. Awesome. Steel leaf. There we go. Let's um, put these in here. Pattern. So steel leaf is that. And we need we need a steel leaf block. So let's put that in there. Firing is that. And we also need a fire block, which is that. And we also need to do the carmonite one, which is that. And 
What did we not do? We didn't do the night metal. Which we also need the night metal block. Let's throw those back in there. Put all of that in there. And that should be that. And the essences of water. Yeah, we've got these. Is this what we need? Yeah. Okay, so what we need to do now is make these other things. Which is this. So we need soul stone. That's not right. <laughs> uh, did we use all our soul stone? We did, but we have a portal to it. Nope, don't change the name. Uh, nether. There was more soul stone here. Look. Right, that that'll do. Where is home? Right. Oh, I changed the name of it. Did it click on it? Oh my god. It's a good job spawns right next to his base, isn't it? I oh, know, it is there. It just wasn't on the list. Stop jumping and fly. Right. It's the cooked version of this that we need, so let's throw this in. We also need some orange wool. Well, I don't know how much we need, that'll do. Awakening altar. And I'm, I'm sure we're gonna need what is it? Like eight of these. Probably. Uh three, six, seven, eight, yeah. And an essence vessel. Oh, maybe we didn't need those. We might have just needed the essence vessels. Go put this up here with the other thing. Oh, okay. So yeah, we didn't need those other ones. That's the pedestal. Let's have a look at the quest. Mystical agriculture. This guy. And what we are making is this. So let's get these and have a go at making it. Let's see if we can use this. Oh, uh, yeah, we need a block of redstone. Redstone block as well. There's a big hole underneath here. Uh, what else was it? Earth, air, fire and water. And he's going in here. That's pretty cool. And then we need our metals. So, night metal block. We have enough. That's good. Um, fiery metal, carbonite, steel leaf. Steel leaf block. Yep. Carbonite. And fiery. Awesome. One, two, three, four. And this should make us our miniature Twilight Forest portal. Yay. Awesome. That's another thing ticked off of the list. And uh, we got Luminous Shard. Still plenty to go. So, let's... Yeah. And that's that, pretty much. Uh, we can do quite a few other things with oh, Miniature Twilight Forest Portal. This is going to force us fuel as well. We can do other things with an Awakening Altar. So these make Awakened Tools as well. And some Awakened Supremian B blocks and gear. And that's how you make the Awakened Unobtainium Vibranium Alloy. That is a mouthful and a half. 
yeah. Well, that is going to be it for this episode. We've got quite a lot accomplished. We've got all the immersive engineering stuff done that we needed for the railgun. I know we didn't need to automate the whole thing, but in case we decide that we're going to play on, because after making an ATM star, you can use the ATM stars for all the creative stuff. Maybe we'll get all the creative stuff uh, and maybe try and make Starry B, which needs an ATM star block. So we can make starry combs and more ATM star shards. All the... Yeah. There's there's things to do, isn't there? Yeah. Right. And you can make Patrick star and automate that. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know if there's anything I could have done better in the uh, comments and yeah thanks for watching bye bye